Welcome to Up Over the Tens. In this lesson, I'm learning to add by splitting numbers into parts to make ten. Let's imagine uh, I have eight counters, and I want to get some more counters so that I have the same amount as my friend who's got fourteen counters. So I've shown both of those amounts down here. Here are the 8 counters that I've already got, and here's 14 counters, which is the amount my friend has and the amount that I also want to have. So I'm thinking to myself, how many more counters do I need to get? Well, if I've got 8 counters, I could start by adding on 2 more counters, because that would bring me up to 10. Let's see what that looks like with materials. So I'm adding one down, and here's the second one I, that I'm adding. So now I've got ten counters, and I'm thinking, how many more counters do I need to add to get up to fourteen? Well, I can see it's this many, which means I'm going to have to add another four counters. Let's see what that looks like with materials. <coughs> There's one, two, three, Four. So, in total, you can see I added two, then I added another four. So, in total, I added six. So, eight plus six equals fourteen. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got seventeen counters, and I want to get some more counters so that I have the same amount as my friend who has... 24 counters, so I'm trying to work out how many more counters do I need to get. So this row here of green counters are the 17 counters that I've got, and this row here of pink counters are the 24 counters which my friend has got. Well, I could start by adding on three more counters, because if I add on three more counters, then I'll have 20 counters, which will make this question a little easier to answer. Let's see what that looks like with materials. So we'll add one, two, three counters. So now it's easy to see that I need this many more counters, and that amount is adding another four. So let's do that with the materials. So we're adding one, two, three, four. So, in total, we added 3, and then we added another 4, which means in total, we added 7. So, 17 plus 7 must equal 24. Now let's try an example with some bigger numbers. This time I've got 35 counters, and I want to get some more, so that I have the same amount as my friend who has... 44 counters. So I'm trying to work out how many more counters do I need to get. Now because these amounts are so big, I'm not going to re represent them using counters this time. I'm going to represent them using rods. So this rod here represents 35, and this rod here represents 44. So just like in the other examples, now I'm thinking about how many more counters do I need to add. Well, if I added 5 counters, that would bring me up to 40. So I'm going to use a block to represent adding 5 counters. And I'll write on that, plus 5. So now I'm at 40, and I think, how many more counters do I need to add to get up to 44? Well, that's easy. I just need to add 4 more counters. So I can record that as plus 4. Now let's see what that looks like with materials. So I'm bringing in another block that represents 4 counters, and you can see, if I put plus 4 in here, that we've now got oops, the same amount of counters. So first we added 5, then we added 4, so in total we added 9. So 35 plus 9 equals 44. Now let's try one question without materials. Um, this time I've got 47 
counters, and I need to get some more counters so that I have the same as my friend who has 51 counters. So I'm thinking, how many more counters do I need to get? Well, I know that if I had three more counters, that would bring me up to 50, because 47 plus 3 is 50. Now, if I had 50 counters, then I'd only need one more. So I could write plus 1. So if I had to add three counters and one more counter, that means in total I'd have to add four counters. So 47 plus 4 equals 51. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.